A saga was a 9th century Digambara Jain poet who wrote in Sanskrit and Kannada language. He is most known for his extant work in Sanskrit, the Vardhaman Charitra. Life of Vardhamana. This epic poem, which runs into 18 cantos, was written in 853 CE. It is the earliest available Sanskrit biography of the last Tirthankara of Jainism, Mahavira. In all, he authored at least eight works in Sanskrit. In Kannada, none of his writings, including the Karnataka Kumarasambhava Kavya an adaptation of Kalidas's epic poem Kumarasambhava that have been referenced by latter-day poets including Nagavarma II who seems to provide a few quotations from the epic poem in his Kavyavalakana have survived, his writings are known to have influenced Kannada poet Sri Pana, the famous court poet of Rashtrakuta King Krishna III, and other writers who wrote on the lives of Jain Tirthankaras. Kasiraja, authored Shabdamanadarpana in c. 1260 CE, a Kannada grammarian cites Asaga as an authoritative writer of his time and places him along with other masters of early Kannada poetry. Biography Asaga's name is considered an apbramsha form of the Sanskrit name Asoka or Asanga. A contemporary of Rashtrakuta King Amogavarsha I CE, Asaga lived in modern Karnataka and made important contributions to the corpus of Rashtrakuta literature created during their rule in southern and central India between the 8th and 10th centuries. Like Kannada writer Gunavarma, Asaga earned fame despite having received no direct royal patronage. In his Vardhamacharita, Asaga mentions writing eight classics though the only one other work has survived, the Shanti Purana in Sanskrit. Asaga claims to have composed his writings in the city of Varala Darala, Kota Visaya, Kola Desa, or Kota Lands, in the kingdom of King Srinatha, who was perhaps a Rashtrakuta vassal. In Kaviprasastapradiyani, the epilogue to the Shanti Purana, Asaga claims he was born to Jain parents and names his three Jain teachers, including Bhavakirti. Much of what is known about Asaga has come down from references to his works made by later day writers and poets. Kannada poet Sri Pana. C. 950, who used one of his narrative poems as a source, claims to be superior to Asaga. Asaga's writings have been praised by later-day poets and writers, such as Kannada writer Jayakirti Chindanufasana, who mentions Asaga's Karnataka Kumarasambhava Kavya. Several of its verses have been quoted by later authors of Kannada literature such as Durga Sima, Nyasina and Jayakirti a Kannada language theorist of the early 11th century who refer to Asaga as the best writer of Desi Kannada, which may be considered as traditional or provincial form of the language. The Indologist A. K. Warder considers this unique because Asaga was also famous for classical Sanskrit. The 11th-century Kannada grammarian Nagavarma II claimed Asaga to be an equal to Sri Pana, and 12th-century Kannada writer Brahmashiva refers to Asaga as Rajaka, a honorific that means, one among the greats, of Kannada literature. His writings appear to have been popular among later Kannada writers up to the decline of the Vijayanagara Empire in the 16th century. Though his Kannada writings are deemed lost, his name is counted among noted poets of Kannada literature from that period, along with the likes of Gajaga, Agala, Manasya, Srivardhadova and Gunanandi. The 10th-century Apabramsha poet Davil praised Asaga's writing Harivamsa Purana. Works <laughs> 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 Vardhamanakaritam, Hindi Anuvada Hindi translation, Alakanatmaka Prastavana Critical Review, Adi Sahita. Jain Sanskriti Samraksha Sangha. Santa Purana See also Rashtrakuta literature Extinct Kannada literature